Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here, and E for Revolt is out, and I have a booster box to crack open for you. Hopefully we're going to pull some nice cards, maybe some masterpieces, that would be nice. First of all, let me show you what I've got. I've got the Buyer Box promo, which is a pretty sweet card, nice foil there, which is Scrap Trawler. It's a 3-2 for 3, uh, when it's Scrap Trawler or another artifact you can try is put into the graveyard from the battlefield. Return your hand to our card, card from your grave with a common cost. Um, with its lesser cover, lesser cover, manners at cost. Oh, I can't speak, it's too early this morning for me to do this, but let's start by cracking some packs. So, what I'll do, I will go through this, whiz through the packs, and we will see then if we make some value out of the pack. Um, I usually use the same site that I use, um, always just to price up the cards, where I will sometimes buy my cards from. And then we'll see if it would make value or not. Now, obviously, value could go up, as the Pro Tour is obviously not happened yet with E for Revolt. So when that first um, first event happens, usually the prices go up, down, up, down. But there's a lot of cards, that obviously, spike that they use. But let's see. Then I'll have a look at the end, go through my best cards, and have a little talk about them. But let's start cracking some packs.
So guys, we just opened the booster box, and of course the star of the show was a Staff of Domination. So you can't really have a bad box if you pull a lovely masterpiece, and this goes straight into my EDH decks. Uh, lovely and shiny. Um, I use the same site that I use for pricing up the cards, obviously, from what I get. Um, this was going on their site of the, you know, the site of my cards, for £75. Which is very nice, probably get it cheaper if you do half Star City games, but you know, I, I basically just price up the cards as they are, not what I sell them for, you know, as if I was going to buy them from that site. So like I said, um, to value the whole box, if I include the Star for Domination in, it comes in at around £210. That's just um, pricing cards that are worth more than a pound. So even without this, there's still value in the box, coming in at, you know, 135 box on there is about £80, so you still be, you know, near enough double the money, and of course with this just sends it to nearly, you know, well over the top, and makes terrific value, but obviously you've got to be lucky to pull one of these, and I was very lucky this time to pull this card, having a look at some of the, I pulled out some of the other uh, interesting, you know, more expensive cards from that set, which I pulled, missed out on Heart of Kieran and Tezrat, but I did pull a very nice Ajani Unyielding, so I've got one of the Planeswalkers, to maybe put in a nice Planeswalker dip. So I've started off with my first Ajani. One of the cards that is very expensive at the moment um, on the site that I look at. It's, it's £10 at the moment, which is Barrel Chief of Compliance. Obviously going to be used as a EDS General, possibly. And it's just, you know, it's an all-in-good card. The foil is probably worth quite a bit of this, I would have thought. I think the dearest foil in the set is Joint at the moment. I can see if Heart Kira, maybe Tezzer at the Schema. But, yeah, pulled a nice Barrel. This is nice, sweet um, foil, good use maybe as an EDH general as well, Rikash, um, sorry, Rishkar, Prima Renegade, Elf 2-2, when it ends the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of up to two target creatures, each creature controlled with a counter, as add one green to your mana pool. So that is a lovely foil, EDH general, card to be built around, very, very sweet. I only pulled one disallow. You know me, I'm control player. I only pulled one of the disallows. Uh, would like to pull a few more, but they will go down in price. I'm hoping it's currently priced at about seven quid on this site, um, but hopefully I will be able to trade towards some more. And a couple of guys I know have got a few, maybe spare. Uh, what else do we pull? Uh, Metallic mimic, really nice card. This one, uh, I think this will see you know quite a bit of play. Ends the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Uh, the chosen type in addition to this other type of mimic is each other creature you control chooses uh, that you chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it it's a 2-1 two, for 2 easily killable but you know probably going to see some play uh, Ether Sphere Harvester Realize 3-5 big block of 3-5 going to stop a lot of creatures only cost 3 but the crew is only 1 on this when it ends the battlefield you get energy counter spend energy counter gains lifelink till end of turn looks very sweet the Harvester Pull some really nice uh, walking ballistas. Got a nice couple of them. So good start for that if I'm going to put them in decks. And a very, very fun card I like. A planar bridge. Eight taps. Search low for a permanent card. Put that onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Couple of noticeable foils from the pack in case you didn't see them. A foil ornithopter. Oh, very, very nice. Just get that back in focus. That is very nice. Worth about £2.50s, but that is pretty sweet. Not as quite as good as the Masterpiece one, obviously, but still a nice card. And Life Crafters, the Besteria. I pulled three of these, and uh, two in normal and one foil. This is worth a fiver, so I'll probably sell that. Going on to some uncommons. Pulled two of the Fatal Push, and I got one from my draft as well on Friday night. These are the dearest uncommons in the set. £5 dear, and a lot of the rares as well. Fatal Push, brilliant card, was used with a good effect against me on, on, on the draft on Friday night. But yeah, a couple of them, very sweet. Nearly got my play set. And just going through a couple of fun cards, not expensive cards. Really like Barrel's Expertise, played with the other night. Really, really good card. Managed to bounce, two thing in ice. A 4-4 creature, then played Nahiri for nothing. Absolutely brilliant, so I'm sold on that card. Uh, the cards that might see other formats, Green Belt Rampager. And uh, Green Wheel Liberator, ones where you fetch and they come with counters, really cool. And then the land, Spire of Industry, uh, add a colourless or pay one life, add one mana of any colour to your mana, will act as a bit of it to control an artefact. So, all in all, I'm very happy with this booster box. 
especially with the uh, very nice my second um masterpiece the first one being was a mana crypt if you saw that on my instagram go and follow us on there i do post up some of the cards from the packs i don't open all my packs online typically i didn't open that one but it was over christmas and um, it just it was a present i just opened it and then there was a mana crypt inside but i pulled a star for dominance uh, domination sorry on camera which is very very good and i'm very happy with that Already had someone try to buy it off me already. <laughs> Once I told him, it was like, no way, I'm not selling, not selling. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. I've got a, a bundle from Ether Revolt that I will be opening very soon. Just waiting for that to turn post that was donated by Taylor over in Ireland. Top, top man. So I'll be opening that. He donated to the channel. And um, you'll see that video very soon. But thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, guys.